You What's going on, Low Keezy? Welcome to the show, man. Hey, well, uh, thanks for having me, bro. You know it's time, man. It's go time. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful, man. Let's get this thing started. Oh, what's, yeah. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby Jonathan. Welcome to the latest edition of the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast Show. And on the line right now, I got Low Keezy, man. What's going on, man? What's happening? Like no. it at. Yeah, it's Laker good, that. Man. Yeah, Laker that, man. And uh, we got to get into the break. Lakers are getting Dwight Howard back, and a lot of Laker fans are upset. So, Lokizi, what is your thoughts about Lakers getting Dwight Howard? The floor is yours. Hey, man. Um, honestly, man, I listen, I wasn't, I hated Dwight Howard after he did what he did. But, man, I'm a Laker, man. I got to roll with it, man. I can only hope for the best. You know, honestly, I don't know what's going to um, come out of it. I have, you know, the last time he played, I guess he was he was pretty good. So I guess we'll see if he can, if he can, uh, you know, redeem, redeem himself in L.A. He said he wants to be here. You know what I mean? He sold himself and he's back, man. So we, I can't do nothing but embrace him. You know, all the Laker fans, we got to embrace him, man. We got to just uh, accept him back. Crazy thing is, I mean, they did it on Kobe's birthday. You know what I mean? Happy birthday, Kobe. Mr. Soft, Mr. Yeah. Softy is back. We can see if what you if you made a man out of him, though. That's how I feel. Maybe what you know what Kobe said and everything he did when he was uh with him. Maybe he learned something, man, because he seems like he's he's learned something that wants to prove Kobe and everybody else wrong in in the Laker world. So I'm 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 gonna roll with it, man. I, I'm anxious to see what it what it looked like. You know what I mean? I wasn't expecting this, and I'm hearing you know I'm, I still expect um. JaVale McGee is going to start, so I'm a, I'm, it's going to be interesting seeing, you know, Dwight coming off the bench. Yeah, man, um, this Dwight news, man, um, not surprising. Um, not at all. I knew we're – it's not surprising because Lakers needed right. the center. He was the best the best center on the free agent market. He averaged 13 points last season with Washington. So he could still score the basket at times, and his defense. All we need him for, to be honest, low keysy defensive rebounding and protect the paint and get deflect the passing lanes and bring that intensity that he did. Yeah, and he can do that all day. He can do that's that's really all we need him for. You know, the unfortunate thing about Cousins was we was looking at him for our offense too. You know what I mean? So uh, that's the only thing that sucks about losing Cousins. But as far as defense, bringing the white on really helps helps us defensively on a on a whole nother level now. So that rim, you know, when once JaVel go out and take get his break, it, it's no days off. It's right back. You know what I mean? Right back with defense. Right back guarding the rim, protecting the rim. So honestly, man, it, it's it might be a beautiful thing, man. It might be a blessing in disguise to have D twelve back. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. from this day forth mm-hmm. I won't call him Dwight Coward no more, man. I, I <laughs> and I'm retiring that name. He back, man. So hopefully he come out and show out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I totally agree with you. And um, I want to get your thoughts on this, man. Do you think a lot of Laker fans are holding a big grudge on Dwight Howard? And do you think they should let it go? Um, I mean, they have to. I mean, it's it's the front office. You know, I mean, I, you know, that was, I had a question on my page, and I was asking all the fans. I was like, so. Basically, do y'all feel like if the Lakers go out and get Dwight Howard, do y'all feel like they care about the fans if they do that? Like, is that kind of like a smack in the fans' face by going out and signing Dwight Howard, knowing how much the whole fan base despises him? Even James Worthy couldn't stand him, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, man, it's got to be more to it, man. I mean, I... I just, I don't know. So I I really, I mean, as far as me as a fan, I got to just roll with the punches, man. I got to, I got to go with it. They, they the ones running the front office and we got to believe in in their decisions. So I'm giving Rod Palenka his chance and benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to see what this looks like. Now, if it, if it fails, it's going to look bad, but if it goes good, I mean, you know, I mean, you can't do nothing but give the props on it. So I'm going to roll with it, but yeah, I, I, to answer your question, yeah, I think we need to just, as fans, we're going to have to just go ahead and and forget about it, man, and uh, welcome welcome him back. He's a Laker now, you know what I mean? I mean, it's it kind of sucks because, you know, we was right. We was right or die. You know, we hated the white, man. It's like, 
I, I really can't believe he's a Laker again, man. It's sh- it's shocking. I never – if you would have asked me last year, will Dwight Howard ever be a Laker again, I would have been like, heck no. No way in hell that's going to happen. But it, it, it happened. So uh, I think we're just going to have to roll with it, man, and um, definitely um, – let it let it go. Let the let the hatred go towards him, and, and just see what he can do, and, and embrace him. Because I think he's gonna come back and try to give us a show, man. And that's that's at the end of the day. All I'm worried about is him trying his hardest to get us another ship. You know what I mean? Get us that number mm-hmm. seventeen, mm-hmm. please. <laughs> yeah, but about Dwight Howard, man. Um, I forgave him like after he left. As soon as he left LA, went to Houston. All right, Dwight, forgive you. It's over with. Keep mm-hmm. pushing. Good luck on Houston. It's like a lot of Laker fans are holding that grudge because it's the Kobe right. Bryant and right. Dwight it's situation. So everybody needs to, yep, everybody needs to understand though, Kobe's not walking through that right. door anymore. It's the LeBron AD era, and us fans have to understand we need to start going to Kobe every time LeBron has a bad game. Run to LeBron. Or, for example, let's say LeBron misses a game winner. A lot of Laker fans are going to say, "Oh, Kobe right. Bryant would have made right. that." Right. Right. So it's like I'm getting, I'm yeah. getting upset at these right. fans. Quit bringing up Kobe. He's not yeah, and anymore. another thing, what people gotta realize with Kobe is, Kobe is one of a kind. You're not, you're not gonna get that again. That he, 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 he mm-hmm. was beast mode twenty four seven. Man, it was literally no days off with him. Man, um, you just, you can't replace that. And I know it's hard for, and we just haven't really had that excitement since he, he's been gone. But honestly, I. I feel it's coming this year, and I get it. You know, we we you know you want to ride with Kobe because he was, he was that guy. But I mean, I think a lot of fans was just mad at Howard too because I mean, like, it was just his attitude when he was here. Like, man, the dude like like he didn't want to work. You know, what I mean, it was kind of just like. But I mean, his his back was hurt. He shouldn't have been on the court. He the, long story short, he shouldn't have been playing. You know, what I mean, he has and you know. Nobody really wanted to, you know, he just played us at that time. It's kind of like, man, you come here, get our hopes up, we spend all this money on you, and then you just bounce on us and we get nothing in return. You know, I think um, Jim, they should have just traded him when we had him. You know, I think that's where we went wrong. When when there was, you know, stories of him possibly not re-signing, we should have just traded him. But, uh I mean, I you know that's that's what I feel. A lot of people are really mad about, and I understand that about the the fans, man. They loyal, and they definitely loyal to Kobe. And um, I mean, hey, he better like I said, man, he better come back and and show his butt out because I ain't, I'm not all the way in. Like I said, I forgive him, but man, he did kind of mess us up, man. But uh, I think I I personally think he's ready. That's I think he's grown, and I think honestly, I think Kobe um, got to him. I th- I think he's gonna come back, and he's gonna have a little bit of that Mamba mentality. He understands now what he has to do to win in L.A. and to be appreciated in L- in L.A. You can hear it in his interviews. I think he's ready, bro. I think he's ready. Yeah, yeah. I think he's ready, man. And um, Dwight Howard's. Here's the thing: that contract is non guaranteed. So if he doesn't perform at a high level, Lakers can say goodbye. To yeah, Mike, get yeah, out of here. Exactly. It's a good contract. It's a good signing, man. It's a good pickup to replace Boogie Cousins. I mean, I I think this is gonna put us right back in, you know, at the top as being the ones to win it all. Because I mean, honestly, if he plays like if we can get the same that he was doing at the beginning of last year with the the Wizards, man, we we got a squad, man. I mean, like that's that's another steal, to be honest, man. It's really another steal. I, you yeah. know what I mean? I mean, for real, man. We got another steal. Yeah, so let's say if we got Joe Kim Noah, how do you think it would fit with, like, let? because here's the thing. I feel like us Laker fans, I'm not bashing Laker fans. I'm just keeping it 100. I feel like us Laker fans are picky about everything that this organization does. If we sign this player, they complain about it. If we sign this player, they complain about it. So, man, we don't got time to complain. We got, we got, we got, a team together, we got Chargo win number seventeen. Right, right. We don't got time, man. We don't have time to complain, man. Yeah, we got LeBron, AD, a group of guys that compete at the highest level, and we have a championship team. I don't care what anybody says. And Kyle Kuzma is going to get a lot of the minutes more since Boogie's right, out. Right, and definitely. Yeah, I mean that, Kuzma's that, falling that's out what this sixteen year. championships will do, man. I mean, at the end of the day, we're a spoiled organization as fans. I mean. Mm-hmm. 
we spoiled, man. And I think it's, it's just now everybody has been playing G. Ever since Jim Bus, man, everybody started kind of playing GM. All the fans started playing GM because Jim Bus was doing such a horrible job. And now it's kind of like, you know, now we're just waiting. And, and you know, I, I think Joe King would I, – I was kind of wanting – him or Fareed, to be honest, because I feel like they was going to be better role players. You know, I, I feel like Dwight has – he still has that um, that star mentality. You know what I mean? But I think LeBron and Adia, I think they'll balance him out and get him on chill. So, uh, I'm really not worried about it. I, I really think he – honestly, the stats don't lie, and he does have the best stats. So, you really can't – you can't say – you know what I mean? Uh, Noah and um, Fareed, they would have just been good role players. They would have gave us a lot of energy, a lot of rebounds. But Howard, I think Howard's that dude. I think him and LeBron and AD together, I mean, just look how long our our team is once again. I mean, we were long with Ingram and Zoe, but, I mean, we didn't miss a beat. We still we still long, man. We're, we're a big team, man. I don't think too many people are going to be able to do nothing with us, man. I mean, think about you got – A.D., LeBron, and the White, like, who's stopping us in the paint? Nobody. You're going to have to pick. You got to pick which, where, where you're going to go. I mean, it's going to be tough. These teams got a tough assignment, man, as long as every – every them big – them top three players right there, if they stay healthy this whole season, and JaVale, it's going to be hard, man, to do anything with us. Yeah, JaVel McGee's improving his game. LeBron's going to – LeBron makes his teammates better, so Dwight Howard's going to get a lot of love. Yeah. And, you, and you know what I like? Um, what's, your, uh, what's his name? Montre, uh, Montez Hurl or whatever. What's his name from the Clippers? What? Oh, Montez, yeah, no. I don't. That, I think that matchup with him and Dwight's going to be perfect because I think Dwight's going to get under his skin big yeah. time. And to be honest, I think uh, Dwight going through those situations off the court yeah. really helped it. Him get mature. Yeah, and not only ma- not honest. only mature, but it helped him to adapt uh, to adopt that Mamba mentality. So now you could, he, you could tell he's got something to prove. You know, what I mean that's what it takes sometimes. He he he's on the mission. You could tell he's on the mission. He got something to prove. I mean, he's at. They've been dragging his name. We've been dragging his name. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think now he's like, okay, I I got something yeah. left for y'all. So. That 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 was, I, bet, I guarantee you. If Dwight comes here, brings us a ring, they're gonna forget all about. Oh yeah, winning changes everything. Winning yeah. changes everything, bro. That's all he need to do is win. I mean, that yeah. changes everything. Look, look like when we was yeah. winning with um when LeBron was here when we uh, Christmas Day, all the fans of that everybody stopped talking bad about LeBron. But as soon as he got hurt, you know, then everybody start going in on him again. But as long as we was winning. Wasn't too many people saying nothing bad about LeBron. You know what I mean? Yeah, like we got like two more months, or actually, yeah, two more months of the season, man. It's gonna man, be a crazy I can't season. Wait, I can't wait. Need it, man. It's about that time, man. It's coming up quick. Yeah, quick. Laker, that part too. You got to throw Dwight. Oh in there. yeah, oh man. I, you know what's funny is I was about to have a line in there. I was working on it last night, man. I was about to have a line in there that was disrespecting the right, and I was like, nah. I have a feeling he's gonna be a Laker. I can't even put that in there. So yeah, man, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give him a shout out now, man. Got to, yeah. got to. Because Dwight Hart follows me on Twitter, man, and he always hits me back up from time to time and stuff. So he's a, he you know what it is. He's a cool person on the outside of basketball, and people need to understand he's a basketball player. Right, right. And, and he he goes through stuff like we do. You know what I mean? Right. Like people have right. been fan. Yeah, man. I don't know. I'm excited for him to be back, and LeBron's gonna make him so. There's gonna be so many that pick and roll with LeBron. That's what I'm saying. I mean, man, it's gonna be beautiful, man. I mean, if, like I said, as long as they stay healthy, healthy, it's over. It's a done deal. Like yeah. that, it's yeah. a done deal. Like that, yeah. like, really excited for the season, and and I, hey, wait, I tell you who else I'm excited about is Talon Horton, man. I think he's, I think he is definitely uh, gonna be yeah. a steal. I think he's a steal of the draft, man. Yeah, well, to be honest, I haven't really watched his mm. game. I'm, I'll see how he does, but my main fo- – I know we have rookies mm. and stuff. My fo- is championship. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, but we'll see what happens, man. Like, Clarkson – like, not Clarkson. Like, there's some 
play, role players on a championship contending team. In the, like 2009, there's uh, Shannon Brown. Remember when we traded mm-hmm. for him? Yeah. Oh, he's decent, and then he stepped up. Exactly. Home, so that's how I feel about me. That's, he can do that. I think there's a reason they kept him on the uh, a, a secret during summer league, man. I think a lot of people are going to be shocked with this guy, man. He got a not, he got a long wingspan too, man. So, like I said, man, we a long I'm team, there. man. Yep, and and once we start winning, and then once we win this ring, it, I'm telling you this, Laker Nation, if the Lakers win the championship, if the Lakers win this year, I'm gonna be at the party. Oh man, yeah, you already know. Lake yep. it up. Yeah, I'm gonna be Lake it up. I'm gonna be with Dwight, looking for LeBron, looking for Jeannie Buss. Yeah. Just sub. I tell you who won't who won't be there, and that's Clipper Durrell. Like I said before, man, I <laughs> I can't wait to see Good. see his face this yep, season, I can't man. Wait. I can't wait till we, when we play the Clippers in the West Conference Finals and we beat them. Forward, Easy through. money, man. Man, I'm just tired of Clipper, Clipper fans. I, I understand that they got players, but for us, that that's not our main focus. Our main focus is the whole NBA, and it's going to be a competitive matchup the whole season. So if we pull it out, we yeah. deserve it. If we have some slip-ups, we don't deserve it. You know what I mean? So we got to go fight, fight for that yeah. ring. And, and I think the Lakers have the mindset of, we want to get this done because they hear the noise. Exactly. Yeah, they they hearing it. They hearing it. It's it's gonna be a battle. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be a nice battle, man. So we'll see. But I honestly, like I said, man, PG and um, PG and uh, PG usually he he fades away in the playoffs. So I really don't see him as a big threat. You know, he's not. And and Kawhi, I just have a feeling, man. I just something telling me he's not gonna be one hundred percent because I don't think he was this um season. You know, I mean I think it took a lot out of him. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Man, it's gonna be an exciting season and let the best team win. That's will be Lakers. And thank you, Lil Keezy, for coming on. Go ahead and get out your social media. Oh man. yeah, man. You let know you follow, can follow me everywhere, again. man. Just uh Google Lil Keezy. Find me on Twitter, Lil Keezy. Um Instagram, the real low keezy. Uh, hit up uh, Facebook, Lakers, uh, Facebook.com slash uh, Lakers Network. And uh, man, everywhere. Laker that, man. Don't forget to follow the Laker that page and the Lakers La Familia page. We all over it. Hey, shout yeah, out. Right. Hey, happy birthday, Kobe. Happy 40, 41st. Yeah, yep, happy birthday, Kobe. Oh, and then, and then we can't forget you. tomorrow, man. 824, we're going in, man. We're going in. 824. Yep. yep. I'm going to be wearing my Kobe jersey oh, yeah. tomorrow then. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a legend. All right, bro. Thanks for, hey, thanks for having me on, fam. All right, man. All right, Lakers like that, fam.